Microsoft Windows Defender for Cloud has identified that our database doesn't have TDE enabled. I looked in the portal. I can't do it through there. It's a PaaS service. How do I do it? I'm going to show you how in one simple command on today's Tales from the Field. Hey! If you just stumbled upon us and found us here on Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. For all those loyal subscribers who like that train that keeps rolling down the track on our roundtable sessions, if you know, you know. We like to share content here on Tales from the Field on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. On Tuesdays, we have that roundtable where we share blogs, videos, posts from you, the Azure Data community, for the Azure Data community. On Mondays and Wednesdays, we have this thing we call MS Tech Bits, where we produce videos inspired by some of your content or content that has inspired us through the week. You're watching one of those now. Let's get over to it. All right, we just migrated our database to our managed instance, and our security team informs us that Microsoft Defender for Cloud identified that our data primary MI failover group DB has a medium warning. And that warning is that transparent data encryption should be enabled for this database. We know that by default, transparent data encryption should be enabled for newly created databases. Hmm, I wonder why it's not enabled, right? Well, if we dig a little bit further here, we can see that a database that's recovered that has TDE enabled on it will inherit that certificate that we move over to the managed instance, uncovering a little bit more of the story. So we know that our database now at this point, by looking back at the source database, didn't have transparent data encryption enabled at the server level. Hence, we didn't have it enabled at the database level on our source system. So we need to enable TDE here after our migration. So we see that we can do it in the portal. Well, we go out to the portal and we're like confused, right? Because it's a past service, we should be able to do this through the portal. No, if we read our documentation a little bit further, for managed instances, we need to enable TDE using Transact SQL. So today we're gonna alter the database and we're gonna use this DM database encryption keys to look at our encryption and monitor the encryption within our managed instance database. Switching over to Azure Data Studio, we are connected to our data primary MI managed instance. And on the screen, I'm showing a query I've been using for many years to monitor my transparent data encryption. This sqlshack.com blog post will be posted in the description of the video. We can go ahead and run it, and we can see the status of our transparent data encryption TDE for our databases. By default, when we enable TDE, tempdb has TDE enabled. But you can see here, uh -uh, failover group, as we've been identified, doesn't have transparent data encryption enabled. So let's look first here in the portal at our data primary MI. I'm going to go over to the blade over here on the left, and I want to show you something. You can see here, transparent data encryption we are going to use the service managed key today. You can on the screen, you can see that I have that radio button selected. You could also use the customer managed key, which is also known as bring your own key, but we're not going to do that here today. All right, let's get back over now to Azure Data Studio to enable transparent data encryption. All right. The original query telling us that we don't have TDE enabled. If we scroll down a little bit here, one simple little command, alter database, failover group DB, set encryption. It was originally set to off. We want that set to on. So once we set that to on and we execute this, which we're going to go ahead and do. So we're going to run this statement. Now behind the scenes, what's happening is transparent data encryption is taking place of our database. Now we can monitor this. This is going to run really quick here using the same query that identified that transparent data encryption was off here. When we run this again, it's going to show us that it's going to be enabled. But if we were to run this during that process, it would show us the percentage uh, complete over here. We'll run our query one more time and look at that. 
tempdb and our failover group bb are enabled. I want to note the time it's going to take within your environment is going to be dependent upon the size of your database, the number of vCores you have, and then IOPS of your managed instance. So be patient and use this query to monitor the percentage progress complete. All right, switching back over now to our Windows Defender for Cloud. We could see here that we still have a medium warning, but we need our security team to do a rescan. So if they go ahead and do a rescan, it's going to go and it's going to go back through Windows Defender for Cloud. It's going to go back through. It's going to scan. You can see here, look at that. All of our vulnerabilities by severity are gone. We can search by transparent and look at that. Magic, right? The status of our database is now healthy. So we have enabled transparent data encryption of our newly restored database within our managed instance. All right, there we have it. Couldn't do it through the portal. We had to do it through T-SQL, but one simple command, alter database, database name, set encryption on, and TDE is enabled for our database on our managed instance, taking our protection of our data one step further. You know where we like to keep this going in the comments down below. Let us know what you think about TDE. Let us know different videos that you like to see. And always be good to each other. Be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.